This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And saying The girls with a passion for fashion turned 20 this year, and to commemorate, their parent company, MGA Entertainment, has released the Bratz 20 Years Anniversary Dolls, a slightly updated reissue of the very first wave of Bratz ever released in 2001. This collection comes complete with all four core characters, Chloe, Yasmin, Jade, and Sasha. If you've been buzzing about the Dolly interweb or happen to be a Bratz fan yourself, you know this isn't the only surprise the brand has in store for 2021 and the coming year. A full-on Bratz comeback is confirmed as in the works, which will be its first foray back out onto store shelves since the 2015 reboot trailed off and ultimately discontinued a year or so later. Dolls won't be the only thing to get excited about because the Bratz Instagram has also shared a teaser for what looks to be an all new animated series featuring the iconic characters as well. And would y'all look at that animation quality? I'm a fan. Sang and I admittedly are not the biggest collectors or followers of the Bratz brand, so our knowledge of its earliest years is pretty limited. I did, however, collect several of the 2015 reboot dolls, and at one point owned dozens of them, up until almost my entire Bratz collection was stolen right out of my old car. But that's a story time video for another day. Although we can't say we're OG fans, we have reviewed a handful of previous Bratz releases, including one of the final reboot lines to hit store shelves, Instapets, as well as the 2018 Collector Dolls, which to our knowledge were online exclusives targeting adult collectors. The Bratz Instagram page has indicated they intend to continue catering to an older audience in their latest comeback, so it'll be interesting to see how they balance both playline and collector appeal. Given this is planned around the exact same time as the Monster High comeback, Mattel and MGA will once again be going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the attention of their most dedicated fans. The next year or so will be a wild ride for doll collectors. The Brass 20 Years dolls got an early pre-release exclusively at Hot Topic. We purchased these ones at HotTopic.com for $29.90 each. They've been pretty scarce so far and the first in-store shipments were extremely limited selling out rapidly at most locations. But don't cave into those outrageous scalper prices quite yet. <gasps> According to influencers who have received PR and the Bratz socials, these dolls are slated to become more widely available in the upcoming months, with plans to roll out at other retailers as well. In case they do restock again at Hot Topic, we'll include those links below. The packaging for these dolls make it clear they come from the early 2000s. Each box is shaped like a trapezoid, with the Retro Bratz logo and classic artwork displayed across the bottom. We can see each girl clearly through her window display, along with her secondary fashions. A focus on swappable fashion must run in the MGA family. There are also each character's name and character icon on the upper left. These boxes have a rainbowy metallic backdrop, as where the original 2001 packaging just features a simple solid color background. The back of the boxes stay pretty faithful to the original releases, showcasing over 20 different fashion possibilities with all the included outfits. Bratz were defined by their characters' iconic personalities, so of course each girl get a unique description sharing her nickname and signature style traits. The upgraded holographic backdrop continues across the back, and we can see a list of everything inside. Alright, let's unbox all four and see if these girls have still got it in 2021. We'll get started with the all-American angel, Chloe. Speaking as a newer fan, that classic pouty brat sculpt definitely hits different than the cutesier 2015 reboot. 
Never one to shy away from dramatic eyeshadow, Chloe's is an ombre nude to blue gradient with a tier of tan and iridescent glitter across the top. Beneath her striking blue-gray eyes, we see the Statement Lipstick in metallic plum pink outlined in a deeper hot pink. A faux snakeskin headband ties back her long platinum blonde hair, which is quite soft and brushable, reaching past her thighs. As a heads up, none of these Bratz dolls come with earrings or ear holes. Chloe's signature outfit starts with a sky blue sleeveless crop top, reading Angel in a stylized font. The material is comparable to mesh, almost having a slight sheerness to it. A studded blue belt goes around her waist, and from there we can see her sparkly denim blue jeans lined with a fuzzy tinsel trim detailing across the sides. They are slit open wide, bell-bottom style at the ankles. The shoes are, of course, full snap-on feet pieces in true Bratz fashion. Chloe's first pair are simple blue strappy wedge heels. Each Bratz doll comes with an alternative top and bottom fashion piece. Chloe's includes a denim-style jacket and cowgirl print skirt. The jacket features glittery fabric to match the pants, with similar glitter fringe detailing at the sleeves with faux buttons. Her second pair of shoes are white and brown buckled boots. Chloe's main accessory is her cowgirl print satchel purse, lined in a minty green. You can open the large flap and place small items inside. And there is actually an additional section of Velcro to separate on the strap. Next up, we have the sporty Cool Cat Jade. If you lift up her bangs, you can see her brown eyebrows arc a bit more harshly than Chloe's. Her hazel eyes are topped in an ombre eyeshadow that fades from pink to a light lavender. Above that is a layer of iridescent glitter. These girls wear some really striking lipstick. Jade's is a metallic maroon color lined in a deeper red. On her head, we can see one of her trademark accessories, a soft fabric beanie lined in several multicolored stripes. Pink crocheted danglers extend off each side. Her hair is jet black styled in crop bangs and tied into pigtails. True to her nickname, Jade wears a sugar pink t-shirt with a peachy pink kitty. Look at those striking green eyes. Although this may look like a t-shirt over a separate longer sleeve top, it's actually all one piece. The longer sleeves are sewn into the t-shirt, decorated in white, red, and pink polka dots. Jade wears a pink color variant of Chloe's belt above her forest green pants covered in something similar to camo print. They're pretty oversized at the bottom and draped over her shoes. Pink and red ribbon line the sides. Her first pair of shoes are red and white sneakers, true to her sporty style. Jade's second look, meanwhile, has her ready to party. She wears a sparkly cherry red sleeveless top paired with a navy blue skirt lined in magenta faux fur. The skirt material almost resembles denim, but like the top, it has a sparkle to it. Her second pair of shoes are metallic silver wedges. Her key accessory is a shiny silver straw string backpack with some stitch detailing and plenty of space inside. Now, let's take a closer look at the bohemian pretty princess, Yasmin. Her eyeshadow looks similar to the other girls with a gradient of smoky tan to pale lavender. A tear of brown is painted above it, once again dusted in iridescent glitter. The character's signature beauty mark dots her left cheek, and her mauve lipstick looks pretty matte, contrasting the other character's metallic gloss. She wears a large chocolate brown bandana on her head. The texture kind of reminds me of felt. It ties up with ribbon in the back. Yasmin's brunette hair is long with a smidge of curl at the bottom and two thin braids along the sides. Her tube top really pops. It's a deep fuchsia and has a fuzzy, almost flocked-like texture. Seeing it here, I'm wondering if this top inspired the boots she wears in the 2018 collector version. Moving along to her pants, they're a pale cream color with stitched on faux pockets and detailing. Multicolored embroidery decorates the trim, definitely topping off that boho aesthetic. Her signature shoes are strappy lavender wedge heels. Yasmin's second outfit is so cute. It starts off with a puffy long-sleeved crop top in light blue. The sleeves are a bit sheer and stitched with a glittery material. The skirt matches it beautifully with a lacy fuchsia trim and psychedelic blue pattern across the top. Her second shoes are brown boots decorated in painted little flowers. 
I think she's totally ready for Coachella in this look. Yasmin's rustic satchel backpack has a design that appears to be winter themed with a design featuring snowy trees and clouds. Maybe I'm getting that wrong, but it looks pretty abstract overall. Finally, we have Miss Bunny Boo herself, Sasha. Her eyeshadow is similar to Yasmin's with an upper layer of dark brown and a gradient to white on the lid. Her iridescent glitter is more noticeable than the other girls with a tint of shiny silver on it. Sasha's lipstick is a lovely nude gloss, once again with a metallic shimmer. Look at that adorable beanie on her head. It's silver with glittery stitching and has a puffy pom-pom on the top. Underneath we can see her long hair, which is a very dark brunette, almost appears black. It's quite soft and brushable. Sasha is rocking a lot of orange in her outfit. Her signature top is long sleeve with a series of stripes in white, lavender, blue, green, and other colors along the sleeves themselves. It bears a lot of midriff. Beneath this, she wears something like a hybrid between baggy pants and a long dress. It's a navy blue denim-like material with some stitch faux pockets complete with orange mesh at the sides. This seems to be like a perfect opportunity for real pockets since it's separate pieces of fabric, but they cannot open. This fashion piece, in fact, can be separated into two if you remove the larger bottom section of Velcro. It becomes a simpler mini skirt. Sasha's signature shoes are orange and white sneakers with sculpted laces. Sasha's second outfit is pretty fun and quite a contrast to her original look. The top is mostly hot pink at the front, transitioning to a gradient of sunset colors like yellow and orange across the back. It's covered in iridescent silver polka dots. This top pairs with cream colored pants that cut off just above her ankles with a fashionable slit at each side. These were very form-fitting and tough to put on. Her second shoes are bronzy metallic wedge heels. Sasha's backpack is arguably the cutest one, with a little bunny icon reading hip-hop at the front. It has orange drawstrings and the sporty ribbon lining that matches her clothes. All four dolls also come with a classic Bratz purple hairbrush complete with the nostalgic logo. Included is also a full Bratz poster sporting the original style artwork of all four characters beneath the classic logo. It's really gorgeous with that iridescent hollow background. All four dolls come with the exact same poster, which measures at about 11 by 17 inches. The original Bratz were pretty limited in their articulation, and these re-releases maintain that. These dolls can move at the head, side-to-side -side tilt seems to vary a bit by doll, they can also move their arms at the shoulder. There is no elbow or wrist articulation, but these arms do have a slight bendy give to them. The doll's legs can also move up and down at the thighs. And like many MGA products, these girls have the snappy knees that can bend just slightly backward. Their removable feet can also be twisted around, which is helpful when you're trying to get them to stand on their own, which will have mixed results depending on the shoe. And no, these girls do not come with stands. All right, from there, let's jump into our final thoughts on the Bratz 20 years anniversary dolls. All right, so I was not a toy collector when the Bratz phenomenon happened, but these anniversary dolls definitely gave me a good look on how Bratz took the toy world by storm. If I was a collector then, I can see myself being amazed by Bratz's colorful and stylish packaging. There was diversity straight out of the gate, something that even current brands struggle to include. As a collector or gift giver, I can see the value in a doll that has two whole outfits. These outfits were trendy and modern at the time and really helped sell these dolls. These products are nearly identical re-releases of the first wave of characters, so some of the modern changes to Bratz are not here. They are, however, a great look back at a great brand's humble beginnings. These are great additions to your collection if you're a longtime Bratz collector looking to add a piece of history to your collection or a new one looking to see what originally drew fans in. As for me, I'm looking forward to the return of Bratz in the near future, Bratz social medias have been promoting again, and the quick look of where Bratz is heading looks really exciting. 
One could argue that Bratz are the most iconic and widely known doll brand since their top competitor Barbie, so it stands to reason what you're really paying for here is the history and nostalgia behind these characters. Despite not being a Bratz collector myself up until 2015, these dolls scream early 2000s, and I think will warm the hearts of many millennial collectors in particular, even if you miss them in the original run. Which I think, of course, is an obvious bonus here, giving fans an opportunity to own the famous dolls that started it all. I do have to say certain traits of the 2001 Bratz haven't aged great into 2021, given their minimal articulation and lack of fashion details like real pockets or display stands feels limiting at what we'd expect from $30 dolls nowadays. I have heard they'll allegedly be cheaper at other retailers like Amazon or maybe Target, which I have to say if that's true, it's a bargain. I'm not sure exactly how deep I'll be diving into the upcoming Bratz reboot, but given how much MGA has produced hit after hit with the likes of LOL and Rainbow High, I'm very intrigued to see how they'll modernize and mature the Bratz even further into something exciting on present day shelves. So how are you guys feeling about the Bratz anniversary dolls? Are you hyped for the big return? Definitely let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us for this review. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. There are a lot more dolls to talk about this year, so stay tuned. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.